This is Twit. From Engadget, Apple read your mean tweets about Liquid Glass and Finder. Jason, have you installed the second developer beta? Because apparently they've they've kind of tuned toned down the uh, Apple Glass. Yeah, I mean they're working on the Mac was the most unfinished uh, of all of them. Ah. Uh, and they're working on, I mean, it's a work in progress. They're still like, I, there's what Apple wants it to be, uh, what was implemented for developer beta one, what, um, feedback Apple is getting. There's a lot going on here and it's going to shift over time, which doesn't mean that it's not worthy of being discussed and, and, uh, and criticized, but also it's, it's a moving target and a, and a work in progress. And I would, I would say if this was a, a, a student's paper, I would say it's a draft, right? right. I, they, they really do on, in a lot of ways get some, I, I, some people it's, are really angry. They're like, how dare you say it's a beta? They shipped it to people and we should criticize this. Like, well, no, you can criticize no, no, it, but I beta. feel like you need to understand yeah. that it's not the yeah. public beta. And even the public beta is not like, I'm, I will write a, a, a story that is review like in July about the public betas. But but it won't be called a review because like it's still a work in progress the final is what they ship as uh i guess 26.0 of everything now that's weird uh and and so we'll have to see but it's making progress i've been running i think all the betas are actually surprisingly stable and uh the mac one parts of it are weird but other parts of it are really nice already and and on the iphone that that you can see what they're trying to go for with the liquid glass thing because it makes the most sense in a way on the iphone Oh, this just in. Apple does offer a PowerPoint keynote or Google yeah. uh, workspace version of that presentation with, that you can download the, on the, the website. Script. Yeah, I, I put a link to they they pulled it from the from the Apple website, but of course because it's Google Sheets, like it can get shared everywhere. So Oh, that's there's a, there's, hysterical. There's a, there's oh, so a it's link not on the website it, anymore, the but it was for a while. Okay. Uh, but I, I I have a link in the show notes. That's it, it hysterical. Is, it's and it's all has all this guidance of, oh, right here, uh, make sure you type in your major and oh, geez, and, 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 and over here uh, change it to this that it's like, okay, it's So this and, uh this is um, uh, there are changes in iOS. This, for instance, is the beta. This is from 9 to 5 Mac. On the left is the first beta. The second beta is on the right, and there is less translucence. It's yeah, they're they're tweaking the settings. It's to much more out legible. What they add. want, and and yeah. and that is all going to continue. There's a big thing in beta two. Um, so the Mac menu bar by default has nothing behind it. Um, and obviously everybody was going to complain about that because of course they are. So, uh, there is a setting in beta two that lets you put, uh, you know, basically a translucent, uh, strip behind it. So it looks like the menu yeah. bar again, which I actually don't. I, I don't have any legibility problems with that invisible menu bar now, but it's very weird because I have a window at the top of the screen and then there's space above it where I can see my desktop picture. And I feel like I want to move my window up there, but yeah. there is still an invisible force field. They should have a little like, <laughs> like it's a Star Trek brig or a Star Wars <laughs> force yeah. field or something like that. Cause it's just the, it kind of breaks the metaphor. Um, and yeah. I kind of feel like what they really want you to do is set it to auto hide, which I will never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever do. But if you set it to auto hide, you can put the window all the way at the top and they don't care. But anyway, so now I you have can, my menu bar set to auto hide on the on the, uh, the current Mac OS. Well, I, I don't I like you know, it disappearing. That's but that's partly because I also show the screens on the air and I don't want any cruft. It's 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 yeah. fine. I just I as a longtime Mac user, I, I like my menu there. bar scene. Uh not heard, but seen. So uh, <laughs> anyway, you can. T so they're tweaking it. So they added a setting where you can just put the stripe up there, which is I think that's good because, of course, there's going to be like a utility. There are already a couple utilities that do it, and I'm like, it's like it really should just be a setting. You can have yeah. it off by default, but it should just be a setting because some people are going to want the menu bar to to be not invisible, and and you can do that. So there, yeah. and that's that's Deb Beta too. That I would say those are changes that were probably in the works before they even dropped Beta One, right? Oh, like that, yeah. Before yeah. we even you saw it, they were probably it's already overnight. working on it. Yeah. So the thing about the first developer releases, like I always think of it as the Monkey House release, where like they've been developing this in in quiet, in, in silence and isolation. They don't know. Again, they've been they've been working inside the Monkey House for so long. They they've got used to the smell by now. And it's only when okay we're going to put it out, and you and you absolutely should expect that there's going to be a, a wave of rollbacks or minor changes almost immediately. As okay, now that it's outside the monkey house, people 
oh my god why why does why is it so hard to see like beyond this layer of frosted glass oh my god do you, do you do, why do you, why does the why does the mac os logo look like that guy who got arrested for selling body parts out of human body parts out of harvard university who has this half of his face tattooed blue all these little things and so it's fun when this when the second release comes out to see like all the things that were like rolled back or adjusted and that's absolutely going to be expected as as and as jason said like we're talking a lot about this as it happens the the, the dev one release is quite useful I, I don't know if i'd call it stable but it's quite useful i've had it on like my own like research phone like for the past week and i haven't had any real problems with it but yeah it's not even the first public beta it's the, it's the first public beta where you start to we're going to start to think that okay this is the, the the jello has set this is pretty much what apple intends to ship now it's just a matter of looking for edge cases and bugs to get rid well, of and there there used to be an nda connected to this like the yeah. apples you know so that people bucks. wouldn't talk about while they were what? Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Interrupt. I mean, you, you can only get it by being, being like an actual paying well, hundred dollar a year. Yeah, and, and to, there was an NDA open. like you can't talk about it. This yeah. is a this is a work in progress. Yeah, and, and the apples loosened that up a little bit, and now they have all these people throwing tantrums and going on social media. And, and but it gets them. It, you know, a lot of people are talking about it. That's you know, any press is good press to some degree, and and they'll see the progress. Yeah. I think that's, probably, that's. And I bet you. The right. idea. Yeah. I bet you they were also in the middle of some of the stuff is there in the middle of an argument between two different teams and they go, uh -huh. hey, you know what? Let's just go. We have two different versions of it. Who goes first? You know, and, and we'll put the one out that we're not sure that will, I, that will go well. I, see what people think. And then we we'll go, I, oh, no, we have another idea. Because developing a whole bunch of new things from version one to version two that quickly, that doesn't happen. No. That happens over months and months and months of time. I've said for a long time that, you know, when we when we all talk about this or write about it and we say, oh, Apple should do this and Apple should do that. It's not like an executive hears our words and is like, oh, you've changed my heart, Andy. Now I'm going to do things in a different way. The truth is there are people inside Apple who have real disagreements. Yeah. And and they hear us talking about it or see, or, or there's an article that comes out that they can point to and say, see, <laughs> and it helps people win arguments. A lot of what we do ends up just being kind of fodder I, for people on the inside to say, I yeah. told you that wasn't true. Yep. Why didn't you All listen to me? I've, now that and and that does lead to change. It's it's funny. Um, they are paying attention to what people say about it and they do use it. But that's sort of how it works is the you know, Apple wants to portray itself as monolithic and like there's only one opinion and this is it. But the truth is, if you have a disagreement with something Apple is doing, somebody inside Apple has also disagreed about that, but they don't have the clout to make it uh, you know, to win the argument. And maybe public reaction, press reaction gives them more clout to do that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've talked to folks inside, comp not necessarily Apple, but inside of other companies that, that I've, I've, I've felt bad. I was like, I'm sorry, I really, I said, I really went off on your, on your product. They're like, no, no, that was a, that was a huge thing. <laughs> like, like we, yeah. Yeah, we clipped it out of Mac break and put and sent it to a bunch of people. And, you know, and, like, you I, know, it's, I, I, we, I'm sure I'm, we all have those stories yeah, have and, it's act, and it's actually, the thing that makes it actually feel quite pleasant is that, okay, I, I lost that argument, but someone out there gets, or excuse me. It felt good. Per the, the 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 message being that it felt good personally that I'm not just an insane one insane person inside Apple who feels this way that this is a good product that we need to keep nurturing. There are other people outside of Apple that also have seen the work that we're doing and thinks it's really great and that they want to see it endure. And that is a very very reassuring thing, a yeah, very pleasant thing. Yeah.